The MCOETIN A1100 is a two-stage overfill prevention valve used in underground storage tank systems. It is an economical choice to comply with EPA regulations, can be configured for both dual point and coaxial drop tube applications, and can be easily installed in both new and existing fuel locations. When a tanker pulls up to a site to deposit fuel, they open the necessary spill container lids and connect the drop elbow to the underground storage tank. Fuel then travels through the drop elbow, fill adapter, drop tube, and A1100 into the tank. The fuel will continue to rise until it reaches roughly 92% tank capacity. At this point, the A1100 will restrict flow and allow any remaining fuel to bleed through a drain hole. If the tank reaches 95% capacity, the drain hole will close, preventing overfilling of the tank. Let's take a closer look at the features of the valve. The A1100 features a retaining sleeve that protects the internal floats from damage and includes a visible 95% mark for easy installation and inspection. If we hide the sleeve, you can see both floats safely resting in their lowered positions. These correspond to 92 and 95% tank capacity. Rotating the valve to look at it from the side and viewing it as a cross section, we can see the internal components. The flapper plate is used to close off the valve and includes the shock relief valve to reduce wear and increase the lifespan of the components. The locking mechanism is used to prevent the flapper plate from closing until the tank reaches 92% capacity. It also allows the flapper plate to auto relatch once the fill hose is emptied, preventing premature shutoff. A dipstick diverter is also featured to allow for stick gauging at any tank level without the risk of damaging internal parts. As the tank is filled, the primary float's buoyancy permits it to slide up, which turns the lock mechanism and allows the flapper plate to close. Here you can see it in action. The fuel drops through the A1100, raises the float, and allows the flapper plate to close. This greatly restricts the fuel drop through the A1100. Once the fuel flow is restricted, the tanker still has a drop tube and hose full of fuel. This has to go somewhere besides the ground, as per EPA regulations, so the A1100 incorporates a drain valve to allow excess fuel to bleed into the tank. At 95% tank capacity, the secondary float slides up, closing this drain valve. This prevents the tank from overfilling above 95% capacity. Thank you for watching our A1100 overview video. We genuinely hope it helped you learn about MCO Wheaton Retail and our products. For more information or to contact us, please visit mcoretail.com.